Good afternoon. As uh, you clearly can see, we have uh, the honor of having the Ukrainian Energy Minister Herman Galushenko here today. And uh, Herman, we're very happy to have you here. We just finished an informal lunch discussion together with all of the energy ministers and uh, really see that the solidarity with the Ukrainian people from all member states stays firm. Um, during this war, this uh, awful and unlawful invasion by Russia on Ukraine, we've really seen how the energy sector has been weaponized and how the energy sector really is at the forefront of this war. And therefore, it is very important and of utmost importance that we keep this discussion going between the energy ministers on what the next step is in support of Ukraine. And um, the European Union already has provided a lot of support for the energy uh, sector uh, with around 5 million uh, items to, uh, to Ukraine, a lot of them uh, generators and transformators. But this is something that we will have to uh, keep on doing, especially as uh, Ukraine um, finally, hopefully soon, wins the war and can enter the rebuilding phase where the European Union will be a dedicated partner. Uh, as you know, this uh, our continued support for the Ukrainian people and uh, really is a top priority during the Swedish presidency. And I was happy to hear the great commitment from all of the energy ministers today. Uh, and uh, the discussions that we had on what the next step can be in supporting and rebuilding the energy system. This is something that is of great importance for Ukraine, but it is also of great importance for the whole of the European Union uh, and the Europe that Ukraine so clearly is a part of. Emma, please. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Eva. And, uh, and uh, that's, that's really a very important issue because, uh, you know, we had very, very open discussions, so we, 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 we have no secrets in between, and we, we discuss a lot of issues, very important issues, and of course the issue of solidarity of European countries is it's, it's crucial question. And uh, the Russians, they attack not only our country and our energy system, uh, they also attack the, they want to split the, the European uh, countries, that is obvious, and the same has happened with the with the all support and which we have in, in the energy sector, they try to split the country. And of course, uh, of course, that is that is very important that we uh, we manage we manage to to stay together. I must say that Ukrainians, uh, we are part of European family, and that's for sure. I mean, and of course, we 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 would become a member of EU, and that's why uh, I must say that this, you know, that is a feeling for people who is fighting now. Uh, on, on, on the front line, and what, what they're fighting for. They're fighting for to be a part of the European Union, and that is very important. It gives the motivation for the people. Uh, concerning the energy, of course, we discuss a lot of issues. We discuss the, the supply of equipment. Uh, we discuss the sanctions, and that is also very important not, not to stop. So we already, we're grateful uh, to, uh, to the 10 package of sanction, but very important now, there are several issues which, which we also discussed in details. First, not to allow them Russians to escape sanctions, not to allow it to find the ways how to do this, to stop this if it happened. And we know that they're trying to do and it happened. Uh, sometimes uh, what is also very important to strengthen the sanctions. That's why we discussed where, how, and one of the very important points is sanctions in nuclear. So we discuss in details how it would influence the countries, how it would influence the production of energy in, in several countries which are still dependent on Russian fuel. But that is very important to, um, to raise this issue and at least to start the sanctions on nuclear after all they did with nuclear fleet in Ukraine and with nuclear safety and security. And to do it right now and to make this strong signal to, 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 to the civilized world that the Russians are not uh, to be in the European market. National News Agency of Ukraine, have you uh, looked through the coordinated program of restoration of ruined uh, energy infrastructure and what is uh, the approximate uh, cost of this program could be? Uh, well, we have the, the uh, data from uh, World Bank which estimate the, the damages and the infrastructure damages estimated more than uh, 100 
one one hundred billions of euros. So it means that uh, we have a big a big really ground for restoration. And what is also important we discuss is. Uh, also, that we we not supposed to rebuild as it was. We need to to rebuild better, uh, and that's why why we need to rebuild our energy system absolutely with innovations, with new approaches, and uh, very important issue that we still should understand that we will live with this military threat forever. So it means that we should also take this into account. That there's something new for us, I mean, uh, but we we need to take this into account. To Madame Bush, if I may. Yes, please. Uh, was aware of ministers informed about uh, the uh, atomic uh, International Atomic Agency uh, director, uh, Mr. Rossi, visiting Zaporizhia nuclear plant? And uh, what is uh, your vision of the solution of that problem? Because obviously it is a threat for entire Europe. I don't have uh, intel that I can comment in, in detail on, on that issue, but I think it's uh, it's really important that, that it is possible to visit the region directly and uh, and see the damages. I think it's very hard for a lot of uh, um, um, both Swedes and, and my European friends to fully understand uh, the extent of the damages that you do when you have as many directed targeted attacks on the energy system as Ukraine has had. Uh, and uh, this is also the very reason why we've so clearly stated that a large part of the restoration and rebuilding um, funds has to uh, really focus and target the energy uh, sector and rebuild it in, in sort of the next, next level. Um, and this is something that we are lifting in all international um, areas where we are involved and definitely in the IEA uh, as well as then paving the way and, and showing that it is possible uh, in the in the coming time for more countries to shift away from Russian dependency whether that Russian dependency be gas oil or nuclear and uh, that is something that Ukraine uh, definitely has showed in direct the dialogue with with Westinghouse which just happens to be a, a, a Swedish company that's completely uh, secondary in, in this context but it shows that direct dialogue where you communicate the needs and the interest uh, to shift away from Russian dependency then it is possible to also reset and, and change produc production to meet uh, that will if the will is there. Have you discussed with ministers continuation of transit of Russian gas through a uh, Ukrainian gas trans transportation system? And uh, what is the perspective for such supply? Uh, can we expect that these uh, gas trans transportation system will be more used for uh, European needs or maybe for some kind of green uh, hydrogen projects? Uh, in fact, you know, it's 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 quite uh, difficult to comment on, on the transit, uh, how how to when uh, when when we would uh, have the transit or not, because uh, uh, we have the feeling that Russians could stop the transit today or tomorrow. Nobody knows. In fact, and of course, uh, we understand that uh, we we need we need to think, and we already think we have uh, understanding what to do in that in that case. And uh, hydrogen is 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 great solution. Uh, technically, it's quite quite difficult until now. So we we are we are looking for solution how to do it from technical point of view because it's quite difficult to use uh, at this stage. But I'm I'm sure that we would find some some approaches in the future that is more the issue for cooperation between us and and, and our partners in Europe. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Please. Thanks. Thank you.